All right, guys, welcome back. It's time to do some differential equations. So we have this problem, a non-homogeneous second order differential equation, and we are going to solve it using the method of variation of parameters. So right away, notice that this non-homogeneous part is tangent of t, and that there is no way that we could use undetermined coefficients for this method because if we were to continually take derivatives of this, well, we would get secant squared and then only God knows whatever comes next. So we would be in trouble if we try to solve this using the method of undetermined coefficients. So instead, we are going to use our more robust method of variation of parameters. So as always, let's go ahead and start with the homogeneous equation. And this is a pretty easy one. We can jump straight into the characteristic equation. R is equal to plus or minus I. So Y, the homogeneous solution, must take the form of C1 cosine T plus C2 times sine t. And now that we have our homogeneous solution, all we have to do is drop the c's and add the u's. So our yp is going to take the form of u1 cosine t plus u2 times sine t, where u1 and u2 are functions of t that we will be solving for. And let's go ahead and differentiate this twice. So yp prime is equal to negative u1 sine t plus u1 prime cosine t plus u2 prime sine t plus u2 times cosine t. And of course, don't forget our little constraint that we have to impose. So these two guys right here, they have to sum up to zero. And that is just a constraint we impose to prevent higher order derivatives from entering the problem and preventing us from solving for u1 and u2. So I'm gonna rewrite yp prime as negative u1 sine t plus u2 times cosine t. And now let's go ahead and find our Second derivative, yp double prime. So we have negative u1 prime sine t minus u1 times cosine t plus u2 prime times cosine t and then minus u2 times sine t. Okay, so now we are ready to plug this stuff back into our differential equation. So we have a y double prime, which is negative u1 prime sine t minus u1 cosine t plus u2 prime cosine t minus u2 sine t, and then plus a y, which is plus u1 cosine t plus u2 sine t, and all this has to sum up to the non-homogeneous part, which is tangent t. So remember, if we did this correctly and we didn't mess up on our algebra, all the terms without the primes should cancel out. So we have a minus u1 cosine t, and we have a plus u1 cosine t. Good, they cancel. So what about this guy? We have a minus u2 sine t and a plus u2 sine t. Those cancel nicely as well, which leaves us with only the terms with the primes on it, which is negative u1 sine t plus u2 prime cosine t, and all this is equal to tangent t. So this is our first equation, but we also have a second equation. Don't forget about this guy. This is the key to solving this problem, this constraint right here, because this is our second equation that we must use in order to solve for our two unknowns. So we have this, and now we are ready to solve. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this second equation and solve for u1 prime. So we have u1 prime cosine t is equal to negative u2 prime sine t, and I can divide by cosine t and I get u1 prime is equal to negative u2 prime sine t over cosine t. And now I can take this expression for u1 prime and plug it into our first equation. So when I do that substitution, I get u2 prime times sine squared t over cosine t, and then plus u2 prime times cosine t equals tangent t. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna multiply through both sides of this equation by a cosine t. So we get u2 prime sine squared t plus u2 prime cosine squared t is equal to tangent t times cosine t. And now we can take advantage of a trig identity that says sine squared plus cosine squared is equal to one. So if we factor out a u2 prime, then we can turn the sine squared plus cosine squared into one, and what we get is u2 prime is equal to tangent t times cosine t. But we know that tangent t is really sine t over cosine t, so we can actually rewrite this as just sine t. So u2 prime is equal to sine t, and we can easily integrate this. So when we integrate this, we get u2 is equal to negative cosine t. 
So we have our u2 and we have an expression for u2 prime. So let's go ahead and take this u2 prime expression and throw it back into one of these equations. So let's substitute it into the second one. So we have u1 prime cosine t plus u2 prime sine t, which is just sine squared t, and this is equal to zero. And let's do some rearranging, and we get u1 prime is equal to negative sine squared t over cosine t, which I will rewrite as negative sine t times tangent t. So u1 prime is equal to negative sine t times tangent t. And there is actually a trig integral identity for this. And we are going to go ahead and make use of that instead of working out the complicated calculus behind it. So u1 is equal to, according to this identity, negative natural log of secant t plus tangent t plus sine t. So now we have our expression for u1 which means that we are ready to assemble our final solution, y, which is of course the homogeneous plus the particular solutions. So our general solution is equal to c1 times cosine t plus c2 times sine t. And then plus our particular solution, which is of the form u1 cosine t plus u2 sine t. So plus u1, which is this nasty looking guy right here. So negative natural log of secant t plus tangent t plus sine t, all times cosine t, and then plus a u2 sine t. So minus cosine t times sine t. And we could simplify this just a little bit. So we get c1 cosine t plus c2 times sine t minus cosine t times the natural log of secant t plus tangent t and that'll do it because this sine cosine cancels with this sine and cosine. So this would be our final answer. So anyway, thanks for watching. And in the next video, I'm going to show you guys how to get to the same result, except for without going through this complicated, tedious process where lots of mistakes can potentially be made. And we're going to do that using our good friend, the Ronskian. So our friend, the Ronskian, is going to make a comeback. So be prepared. Anyway, see you guys later.